Hi, welcome to my tutorial on sizing. In the bottom corner here you'll see a little box. It'll say distance, length, something like that. It's a corner while you're working with. If you don't see it, just uh, take your sketch up, drop it down a little bit, and drag it back up. Sometimes this has a tendency of getting hidden because it's too big. Now I'm going to take a square. I'm going to draw a square. And you'll see the dimensions come up. Now to change the dimensions to a size you want, for just this I'm just going to put 10 feet uh, next to the enter key use the parenthesis then a comma by let's say 6 feet okay 6 parenthesis enter so now I got a size I want now if I was just going to use inches okay if I just bring this up and I put 12 I can just put enter okay now for this I'm just going to play around a little bit for you now I'm going to take this, uh, now if you wanted, you can do decimals or plain numbers, this varies to what you want. So I'm going to bring this up 2 feet, 6, and 1 fourth inches. So I'm going to hit a space, the space bar, put 1 fourth, enter. Okay? And that's 6 and a quarter. So let's go back down, I'm going to bring it up the same things, 2 feet, six and this time I'm just going to put point two five enter so you can use the decimal system or a fraction It's up to you which way you want to go what's nice about sizing is let's say I made this room now this is awful small you ain't going you're not going to be able to really do anything in it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this push pull tool and I'm going to pull this wall out let's say I bring it out 15 feet okay now all I'm going to do is take this and push this and just put 15 feet back in and I got the same measurement now here's a little secret I've learned as I've done these if I bring this out 10 feet and if I click in here it's not it's going to close it okay so if you got lazy like I do sometimes I'm just going to reverse face this so the blue showing and it'll actually go the opposite way then you can just reverse face and put it back the way always remember blue is transparent okay white is solid but if you want it like a see-through wall in a room or something you reverse face and that's now when you take that into the previewer or into when I envy you you submit it that wall is going to be invisible okay hope that helps if you have any questions please feel free to get back to me and I'll try to help you more thank you